All right, so check it out. Today we're looking at this very, very nice 32-inch uh, Toshiba LCD TV. Uh, it's a 720p set, but uh, I'm bringing it up and I'm reviewing it for a very special reason. Uh, I, have, I know a lot of people out there that have Xbox 360s. Uh, they got PS3s, um, even stuff like a Wii, and they're playing it on their old CRT TV. Uh, you know, they're like 28-inch or something. Uh, and their excuse usually, uh, at least for my friends, is they can't afford to get a new TV. It's too expensive. Uh, you know, if I want to get a TV, it's going to be big and it's going to cost a lot of money. Uh, well, here's the thing. This thing right here, 32-inch, 720p, LCD, some of the best reviews I've ever seen in my life on any TV, they sold a bajillion of them uh, all across the internet over the past year, um, is one of the most popular TVs and it's very, very affordable. It costs uh, just a, a little bit more than buying a PS3 does uh, and you're getting so much out of it. It's got a lot of great features. Uh, now, first of all, starting off, like I did say, this is a 32-inch um, panel and it does do 720p. When you want, uh, when you have a high-def console system, you want to have a high-def TV. It really gives you a lot of detail. Like my best friend plays all his games on his old TV and he can barely read the text. And I don't know how he does it. Uh, it really makes the game unenjoyable because you don't know what's going on. You're trying to read little symbols and stuff or read your scores or your mana points or whatever and, and you just can't tell what's going on. Um, so definitely it's always nice to have the higher resolution so you get the finer detail and that means in turn that you can see it uh, clearly and read everything. Now uh, an important thing to note about an LCD like this is it's not just your regular LCD panel uh, that just shows you your high def content. This actually has a uh, dynamic backlight control. Now what that does is it uses an image processing chip to process each frame uh, that's incoming whether it be through the HDMI or through the component. It's going to process each frame and let's say that it's a really bright all white frame it's going to crank up the backlight or if it's a dark uh, with just very low light and it needs to get contrast, a lot, a little bit of extra contrast there, let's say like a red subject on an all black background, it's going to drop that background, that backlight. So basically you're looking at dynamic background control. Another thing that's really important about this TV, or a nice factor at least that it has, is that it has a gamer mode. And in that gamer mode, uh, it basically, it's just a way of reducing the latency. It's actually going to cut out a few of the steps that are uh, kind of in the process of going from the HDMI port to the panel. It's going to cut a few of those out to decrease the latency uh, between what happens when you push the button on your controller and what happens or how long it takes to happen uh, on the panel. If you're playing a game and there's a, a lot of lag, a lot of latency uh, between your panel and your gaming console, that's not really good. If it's going through a lot of image processing um, and the TV actually has a lot of chips that are doing stuff to it, it can take a few extra milliseconds to get out on the other end and go up on the panel and that in turn uh, means that you're playing like in this time warp and you gotta like predict where people are gonna get. It's like trying to play a video game online with lag. I mean it's just it's just not happening. Okay, you're not that good. It's not gonna work out. So that will improve your gaming and that is a reason that a lot of people buy uh, this television is simply for the gaming mode. Um, now let's talk a little bit about connectivity because this thing uh, has quite a bit. Now, first of all, um, we're going to show you the outside, then I'm going to show you the connectivity on the side and the connectivity on the back. Now, first of all, you really realize that on the front of this, this is a gorgeous set. I mean, it looks really, really nice. All black, uh, thin, glossy black bezel, uh, very small. You don't really notice that the screen takes up a good majority of the real estate on the front. Uh, now, when we go to the side over here, uh, you will note that you, here are your buttons. Uh, they are all right there. You have all your power, volume, and menu buttons. Uh, and then right below here, you have a composite input uh, for your video and your audio uh, right there. That's only one of two composite inputs. So if you have an old video camera that has composite or a VCR, you can plug it in right there. Uh, now, when you go to the back of this thing, here's where you get to the real good connectivity. Uh, you got quite a few things going on back here. First of all, here's where your antenna uh, or your cable will come in. Now, this thing has every type of tuner that you could possibly want uh, on the market right now, including ones that are pretty much gone and obsolete after the switchover. But uh, it does have the ATSC tuner. Uh, it does have the NTSC tuner, which is the older analog tuner. Uh, and then it also has the clear QAM tuner, or QAM, uh, which is basically your unencrypted uh, cable digital cable that comes in from your wall through without going to a cable box that goes directly in here. Well, it's going to give you all those unencrypted basic cable channels uh, that you have on that line without a box. Uh, the other thing it'll give you uh, is two HDMI ports right up here. These do have HDCP, so they will do Blu-rays and stuff. Uh, you have a PC in, which is a 15-pin VGA D-sub. Uh, you have an S-video right there. Uh, this is a PC audio in, 3.5 millimeter audio jack, just in case uh, you're doing uh, a VGA in, there's no audio coming in. This is going to come from your PC. You have a digital optical out. This is basically to go, uh, if you have HDMI coming into the TV and then you want to have a surround sound system, well you plug this directly in the surround sound and you're going to get up to six channels of audio uh, through one cable. That will be a tossing cable by the way in case you're shopping for it. Uh, over here you have an out. This is a uh, composite out, so your regular analog out. You have composite in right here for video and analog. Again, this is your second one. The first first being uh, over here on the side. And then on top of that, uh, you do have two composite, uh, I'm sorry, 
uh, component inputs as well. So if you want to do HD 720p through uh, analog cables, you could do that as well, as well as doing it through the digital HDMI cable. Uh, you also note that there are four uh, big mounting holes up here. So if you want to mount this up on a wall or on a nice stand that is VESA compatible, and you can definitely just mount just about any uh, wall bracket's going to fit on here uh, or mount. Now, just so you know, it also does come, of course, with its regular own base. Uh, so if you do want to just hang it the way it is, uh, feel free to do that. It's not a big deal. Um, also, Energy Star compliant, one year warranty, which are all a uh, very important thing. And if you, for any reason, want to know how much it weighs uh, so you can get the appropriate weight for it, it's about 32.4 uh, pounds in total, the entire set. So it's actually quite light. I carried it over here, no problem. Uh, pretty light and pretty good quality, too. So uh, very nice TV. I especially recommend it for people that want uh, just a, an affordable set uh, kind of to play your consoles on, to play games, to watch TV. Uh, you know, it's going to be a home theater Blu-ray. You know, maybe not. But it could do that, you know. But uh, again, it's just a nice HD set. It's at a spectacular price. You cannot go wrong uh, with something in this price range. It's just really, really cheap, and uh, it might even be getting cheaper. So uh, keep an eye out for it if you want to get a good HD monitor uh, or display TV, actually. Uh, if you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Toshiba 32 AV502R 32-inch 720p LCD HD TV, type in T24-3246 into the search engine of any of these major retailers. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.